In this video, we're going to be looking at calculus and parametric equations, and we want to start by finding a parametric form of our derivative. So let's say we have a set of parametric equations, x equals f of t and y equals g of t, describing a curve c. If f and g are differentiable, how are we going to be able to find the slope of the tangent line to a point on our curve? So we want to know how can we find dy dx in terms of t. So let's just get a visual to help us think about what we might be finding here. So let's say I had a curve like this, some sort of parametric curve, and I'm trying to find the slope at this particular point over here. Um, so one thing I could think of is that dy dx, well that's like rise over run, so I want to think about the derivative of my um, vertical component divided by the derivative of my horizontal component. So I can see that this, it makes sense that this should be dy dt divided by dx dt provided my dx dt is not zero. Okay, so that is our parametric form of the derivative. Let's see how I could, I could get this um, in another way. Note that by the chain rule, okay, since we have y of x of t, okay, we can say that dy dt is equal to the derivative of the, the outside function, so dy dx, times the derivative of the inside function, so times dx dt. So looking at this, see I have dy dt is, is this product, dy dx times dx dt, so dy dx is equal to dy dt over dx dt. Okay, again, still provided our dx dt is not zero. Okay, so we can think of this in terms of a manipulation of the chain rule or just in terms of thinking about sort of rise over run, doing um, the change in the, the vertical component piece divided by the change in the horizontal component piece. So let's see how we can apply this um, parametric form of the derivative to a couple of examples. So here I have a curve defined by the parametric equations, x equals e to the t and y equals t e to the negative t, and I want to find dy dx. So remember dy dx is equal to my dy dt divided by dx dt. So here my dy dt, doing the derivative of this t e to the negative t, is going to require the product rule. So I'm going to have the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. So I have negative t e to the negative t plus e to the negative t. Um, and this is all going to be um, divided by our derivative dx dt. So this is divided by e to the t. Okay. So what can I do further with this? Well, I can just simplify it a little bit. I have e to the negative t times 1 minus t for the numerator all over e to the t. And then I could bring this e to the t that's in the denominator up. So I have e to the negative 2t times 1 minus t is the form of my derivative, which I could then use to find the slope at various points t. Okay. So let's look at a few more questions. So we know that we can just use the parametric form of the derivative to figure out what dy dx is um, as a function of t. So we can also answer the other kinds of questions that we would do in Calc 1. So here I'm going to be interested in finding the equation of the tangent line to a particular point. So we'll need to start by first finding what dy dx is equal to. So I'm going to have dy dx is equal to dy dt over dx dt. So my dy dt, it's going to be the derivative of this cosine cubed. So I'm going to have to use the chain rule there. So that's going to be 3 cosine squared t times the derivative of cosine t, which is negative sine t. This will be divided by my derivative of sine cubed t. So that's going to be 3 sine squared t times the derivative of sine t, which is cosine t. Okay, And then I'm going to need to know what the value of this derivative is here. So my slope m will be equal to dy dx evaluated at my t value of pi over 6. Okay, so we're going to be plugging in pi 6 here. So we're going to have 
negative 3 times cosine of pi 6 squared. Cosine of pi 6 is root 3 over 2. So we have root 3 over 2 squared. Sine of pi 6 is 1 half. We have this divided by 3 times 1 half squared times root 3 over 2. So we just need to simplify this a little bit. So we notice that those 3's are going to cancel. I'll also have one of my root 3's over 2's cancel with the root 3 over 2 down here, and one of my 1 halves cancel with one of the 1 halves down here. So I have root 3 over 2, still have that negative sign there, divided by 1 half. So I end up with just negative root 3 for the value of my slope. Okay, so the other thing that we need for finding the equation of the tangent line is a point. So it's at the point where t equals pi 6, so I'm going to also plug pi 6 in here for my, um, into my parametric equations to actually get the, the coordinates that are associated with, with that t value in my parametric curve. So I can see that x of pi 6 here is equal to sine of pi 6 cubed, or 1 half cubed, so I have 1 over 8. And then I can also see that my y of pi 6 here is going to be equal to root 3 over 2 cubed. So that will be equal to um, 3 root 3 over 8. So now I'm ready to go ahead and write down my equation of my tangent line. So I'm going to have y minus my y1, 3 root 3 over 8, is equal to my slope of negative root 3 times x minus 1 over 8. So we could leave that as my final answer for the equation of the tangent line. If I wanted to write it in the y equals mx plus b form, I could move things over a little bit. I have y equals negative root 3x um, plus root 3 over 2. Okay. So I also wanted to give you a visual to go with this example. So here we can see that this red curve is the graph of the parametric curve that we had, where I had x is, was sine cubed of t and y was cosine cubed of t. And this is this blue line here is the equation of the tangent line that we found um, to our point where we had to use equal to pi over 6. Okay, So that just gives us a visual um, for what goes with our problem. So now let's look at our last example for this section on um, finding our various um, derivatives here. Um, here I want to find all points at which the curve given by x equals 2 plus root t, y equals 2 minus 4t, has a certain slope, has a slope of negative 8. So we're going to find dy dx first, so this is equal to dy dt over dx dt. So this is going to be negative 4 divided my by my derivative of 2 plus root t. So we know that we can write root t as t to the 1 half, so that's 1 half t to the negative 1 half. Simplify this a little bit, this is negative 4 divided by 1 over 2 root t. So I have negative 8 root t is my um, derivative in terms of t. So I'm trying to solve for where dy dx is equal to negative 8. Well that's going to happen where negative 8 is equal to negative 8 root t. So I see that that's going to be where 1 is equal to root t. So I have um, the points where the curve is going to have slope of negative 8 happens at t equals 1. So when it says points, we want to think about finding the, the coordinates of the points, x and y. So I can see that x of 1, plugging into the original parametric curve here, would be equal to 2 plus root 1, or 3. y of 1 would be 2 minus 4 times 1, so that's negative 2. So I have the coordinates 3 comma negative 2 on this curve. Um, we'll have the slope of the tangent line to the curve being equal to negative 8. Just to give you a visual to go along with this, um, this curve here turns out to be a portion of a parabola, so it looks something like this. So here at um, negative 3, 2, it's somewhere, excuse me, 3, negative 2, somewhere down here, is where I'm having that slope of negative 8.